Hi, welcome to the Observing the Sun with Stellarium video. Uh, there's a teacher reference that accompanies this video. Before watching this video, make sure that you've oriented yourself to Stellarium. You can do that using the uh, Stellarium introduction video um, and the accompanying teacher reference. So once you're in Stellarium, uh, make sure that you have pressed the hourglass button so that we're at the current date and time and make sure that we're going at a normal rate of time by pressing the single right arrow. Uh, and then once you let students take a look and orient themselves to what we're looking at, and make sure that um, you're looking at a, at a broad enough view. I'm gonna back up a little bit just to make sure that we can see everything. You can speed up time for students by hovering down here and pressing the double right arrow. I'm gonna click that um, another three times to really speed up time and let students see what's gonna happen. It's March right now. The sun is gonna set. And right as the sun sets, I'm actually gonna slow down time by clicking the single right facing arrow and ask students to record their observations on the handout. Once students have recorded their observations, I'm gonna move quickly through the night. I'm gonna press this double right arrow three more times, actually four more times, one, two, three, four. So I'm going a thousand times the speed of real time. And as the sun rises, I'm again gonna slow down time so that students can record an observation of sunrise on the same image on their handout. Next, I'm gonna ask students to complete the observation by sketching the approximate path of the sun through the sky as it moves from sunrise to sunset. So I'm gonna speed up time again and I'm gonna let them observe the path for a couple of days so that they can get it right. Um, and I'm gonna, and then, uh, but they're only gonna observe, make one observation. So they're gonna record one observation at this point, but they can use these multiple passes to refine their data. Uh, and this is just because even though the sun is going to move slightly from day to day, it's not gonna change enough over the course of a couple days to affect their observations very much. So I'm gonna speed up time and allow students to watch the path of the sun through the sky and record approximately how high it gets and what that path looks like. So once you've let this run a couple of times and allowed students to record their observations, slow down time again and tell them that you're gonna skip ahead a couple of months so that we can take observations at another time of the year. Uh, if you've chosen to take five observations at three month intervals, so that's about one per season and then another one at the same time next year, skip ahead three months using the date time dialogue right here. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna skip ahead one, two, three months, and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I am going to speed up time. I'm gonna pause at sunset and allow students to record their observations. And then I'm gonna speed up time again. Looks like the sun is almost out of sight. Here it is right here. So I'm gonna pause at sunrise and allow students to record their observations again. And then once again, I'm gonna speed up time and let them record the arc of the sun. So if you've decided to take seven observations at two month intervals, you would skip ahead. Instead of three months, you would skip ahead two months and uh, do exactly what I just did. You can repeat that step for the number of observations you would like to make your class, to have your class make. So I took an observation in March, an observation in June. Now I'm gonna skip ahead one, two, three. I'm gonna take an observation in September, 
one, two, three. I'll take an observation in December, one, two, three. And then I'll take my last observation in March of next year, which for me is 2021. Uh, if you cannot use Stellarium in your classroom, we also have an alternative way to go through this activity. Um, there's a student facing, a set of student facing videos called Observing the Sun with Stellarium Student Facing that you can use and play in front of your classroom to allow students to take these observations. Thanks.